Hi there and welcome back to Karakon Yunlu, the Horde of the Black Sheep. And we have looked into forming Persia. That's one of the dreams of the father of Sultan Pirpudak I. But he also would like to form the Persian nation as he thinks. It has absolutely administrative advantages. And um, also get a permanent claim on the Persian region. Yes, but we also cannot do, cannot do that because we are a tribe. We will be able to do that if we reform. But we can only reform if we go for another idea. And that idea would have to be an economic idea, an innovative idea, or the administrative idea. Now, these ideas are all very likely to be taken by our ruler. And he's also one who would seek to improve the administrative technology. So that is the way we go to focus. That's the focus we have. And that's maybe with his masterful grasp of state. That's maybe the way he wants to... Um, reform the country. Also, he's seeing his heir, his brother, and maybe in the view of this focus on administrative, he says, hey, you're a good guy. You're really good, but... Hmm... Maybe you'll be better suited as a general. We have a good general now, Pirbudak Karakoyundu. For when when things go bad, he will be there for us. The next thing is we want to make states. States. Hmm, yeah, we want to increase institution spread too. These states are the most innovative here. Guria cars, Otlu. Will give us a lot of help. We also have the Isfahan state and the Khuzestan state that are very big. That also counts for something. So maybe we should choose the biggest states to make. Isfahan and Khuzestan would be on our list for that, right? Isfahan, such a big state. And uh, I think we have someone converting in Isfahan. And we'll have more conversions going there. So we'll enforce religious unity here. And help. And help with the state. There we go. We're calling again. <laughs> now we need to wait for the next state. That is stabilizing the country, hopefully. Our focus on administrative power will be delayed a bit, but this is something we need to do to increase our income. That's the other goal he has for the country. And now we're enjoining right and forbidding wrong. Muslims are encouraged in the Quran to take an active role in their community in order to enjoin and right and forbid wrong. While this command has been interpreted in many ways by Muslim scholars, it was sometimes used by reformist groups to justify the forceful spread of more extreme views. Now, we don't like extreme views. A group of charismatic mosque preachers in Tabriz began calling for the end of unorthodox religious practices and inciting the populace against the Sufis, leading to violence and street battles. <clears throat> yeah, we'll stamp down on the movement. That cannot be... Um, 
The Sufis must live in peace. It's not good for the state. Sinja. Very good. Our next one would be Darab. And now it's also time to focus on our administrative efforts now. Having that great goal of Persia in mind, an administrative Persia. Look at that, our diplomatic power. Ah, ah. so costly chartered companies. Trade efficiency would go up. Yes, why not? We, we will take that. It's quite good, probably. I'll make this a little faster. Oh, Arabil! Abbas Sabavid of Arabil has died. Our royal marriage has ended. Oh no. Hopefully it will be renewed. Now, could we vassalize them? No. They still have a core. Hmm. Yes, these. Not very well liked. Truces will expire, and we can invest in diplomatic technology. And he's a man to definitely increase technology. Mm. Cause, yeah, what can you do? He's a reformer. Our t diplomatic technology level increased to chartered companies. The world is a big place, and in order to develop our trade in it, sometimes quite big risks must be taken. Luckily, there are merchants in our country that would be willing to do so, using mostly their own capital. By sanctioning such companies with a government charter, giving them special rights to exercise government powers as well as monopolies in certain areas, we can control and encourage commercial development of everything from foreign trade contacts to our colonial possessions overseas. And we have a brig now, and trade efficiency goes up. And we've converted again. Nice. Next will be Tabaz. For the state, two of a kind. Yeah, our, our great Sultana Huma has impressed many men and women at court with a sharp wit and extensive knowledge of the natural world. She has long been a collector of tomes on botany and chemistry, and she corresponds with several of our generation's brightest minds. Currently, one of these scientists are visiting our court as per our Sultana's invitation. They can be found discussing all sorts of new theories far into the wee hours of the night. Sultana Huma has asked us to make the scientist an offer, claiming that she would make a much better advisor than the treasurer Azia Muhammad we currently employ. Azia Muhammad, so look at him, mm, or her rather. But she's giving us the good taxes. Hmm. Skill three, I mean, but she has a point. She's. He's following the Sunni faith, though. Turkish heritage. But we have an obsession with, with administration, and we see that he's just better at this. So, Sultana Huma has a point. We shall invite her acquaintance to stay. And where's her acquaintance? Pir Budak Muhammad. The natural scientist, and also a woman. So, wow. Costing a ton of money, but for our Sultana and for the administration, there we go. Our production efficiency goes up. <laughs> Ooh, this is taxing. This is taxing on our tax income. But what can you do? Everything for the administration. System, recall the diplomat. And 
now or for the vassalization. What should we do now? Conquer anything? No, 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 no. Ethiopia, we could <laughs> form some kind of makeup. With the Ethiopians, once our provinces even, well, everything for the administration. For the diplomacy, we've given them military access because we like that and we'll also further diplomatic relations with them if it is demanded by the important men of our state, then it be so. Then it may be so. Let's have a look at our diplomatic relations with our vassals. Our subjects here. Zero liberty desire. We're all good with that state. Marriage over from Ardabil. Oh, yes. And we can make another state. We'll wait for that until we have around 200. So we can convert quickly. We can make states. Yeah, we can make Khuzestan. Great area. Convert it to a state. Let's see what we can do there. And what they are good at. So look, no institutions are coming here. Yeah, we have to look at the institutions. Um, Emirati is not a state. It could be transformed to a state, but mm, Zamtske would be another another thing to look at. But now we need cores first. There we go. Cores are done. What would be what would be the next? Kalikoketi or Fazistan or Samtske? So Samtske would definitely be an opportunity. Bijand, Baristan, Kartli Koketi here. Not a bad choice. Then we have Fazis. Then we have Samtske. This is Imereti. We've got Fazistan here. And this is interesting because it has a potential additional province here with the Timurids we don't like. We could make that a state when the time arises. Converting more provinces is what we do, yes. States co demand control of provinces. The Ulima wants, wants a province. Well, hmm. Where to look at something for the Ulima? Maybe something like Tabaz would be right for them. Could we give that to, to them? Where could we give them something? T 
territorial core. Yeah, we need to be in a state. Avas, what effect has the Ulima on them? I mean, Isfahan has just been... Increase their loyalty. Minimum province autonomy goes up. Local unrest goes down. Isfahan wouldn't be a bad choice. Yeah. Let's give them Isfahan. In the name of peace. We need so much administrative power to reform this piece of land. That's what Sultan Pirbudak is thinking, probably. Ah. <laughs> So much. And we have a call to arms. Oh no. Uh, Tabaz has been converted. Let's go to Abaruk. The nation of the Ottomans are faithful allies requesting that we come to their aid in the Ottoman conquest of Korhira against the Mamluks. This is a war that they have started. Allied with Haza, Miklav. Tugurd and Vasangali. Haza is here. Yeah, we have to do it. I mean, in the Ottomans, we are deeply indebted to them. Still, though, we don't like it. Mothball the forts and uh, we'll move to Basra ourselves. Uh, not all the forts, basically. These we want to keep for now. Haza, the Mamluks, Tugurd, and Wazangali. Here's Haza, and that is where we will defend against, probably. It's really unlikely that the Mamluks come there dead meat. Oh, <laughs> look at that. System. Going for it. And we are also going for it. And maybe we need to up our army maintenance. They're moving in. Where are they moving? To Hoveze. We'll meet them there. They are moving to Wazit now. Ah. Arm the fortress. Are they moving to Kwazania? We meet them there. No, they are moving to Ilam. Fortress on. This is terrible. Hoveze. Where is Hoveze? They're moving back now. All right. Now they are locked in this choice, and now we can attack them. There we go. Jahan Shah Hazan, do your best. Oh my god. Ah, this hurts. But still we won. 
move back to Basra. And um, don't need that. Don't need that. What is that? Khorasani separatists. Oh. Need to march in there. Look at that. Sistan. Very well. The clergy mobilizes the population. For many years our policies have motivated a large majority our population to dutifully attend the expected religious cer ceremonies. Have we? The clergy has shown its thanks for our supportive policy by in turn making supportive comments about our governments. May our people always find unity through faith. Oh, thank you, Lima. That is a stable government. We could reform the government. We could change it to ICTA. We could change it to Ikta. I thought we had to complete something else, but now we can reform the government. This is unexpected. Well, what a nice... Yeah, what a nice end to this episode, right? The transform to Ikta government right now. Something that increases our national tax modifier, our income from vessels, and is totally in line with Pirbudak. The administrator. We're at minus two stability right now. But this is the time. This is the time. We need 70. <laughs> and in this time, we need to be very careful. We need to not fight. But it was the time we had to, to use. The time is now. Pirbatak Muhammad and uh, our great Sultan have prepared this. The Ikta government. Now, our wife doesn't play a role anymore, which is kind of sad, but she has done her thing, and uh, she may enjoy playing with the children now. What can we go for? Efficient tax farming, land acquisition, lenient taxation. We're a Shardom now. We can upgrade the government rank once we have enough development. And we'll see where this leads us. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We're no longer the horde of the black sheep. We are the Ikta of the black sheep. A good time until then and happy gaming.